welcome to microbial concepts so in this video we are going to discuss about reporting bacterial colony morphology with examples so examples i have taken are e coli on nutrient agar and klebsiella on mcconkey's agar okay so a separate video is already uploaded on my channel where in detail i have explained all the characteristics which we write when we report colony morphology start from size to motility gram staining motility everything is discussed okay so do watch that video first and then you can refer this video so let's start with the colony formation or colony so what is that so you all know that we cannot see a single bacterial cell by our naked eyes we need microscope but there is one way by which we can study bacterial colonies or bacterial cells that is bacterial colony okay so when we provide sufficient nutrients moisture temperature and we inoculate a particular media by with a particular bacterial culture we see bacteria culture growing as bacterial colony okay colonies are formed on the agar plate so when bacteria they get adequate nutrients moisture temperature ph etc etc they grow they start multiplying and they multiply as millions of cells and these millions of cells they form a colony and that is what we observe on our agar plate or media plate all the cells in a colony they have same characteristics okay so how a colony is formed a single bacterial cell it grows and multiplies and multiplies and multiplies and it forms a colony okay so you can see in this particular picture how many colonies different types of colonies you can see so this is one type this is second the small one which is growing inside this particular bacterial colony itself is the third this is fourth yellow color and the off white uh, colony with entire margin is the fifth so there are different types of colonies five colonies we can make out here how we can differentiate so just apply basic uh, characteristics like color so you can see all these five colonies they have different color okay they have different margins okay you can see this one this one has entire margin even this one has entire margin but not that clear and this one has a irregular margin okay so these are small small characteristics through which you can make out the difference now before reporting our colony characteristics first colony characteristic that we report is size so i want to uh, make out we make a point here that is how to measure size of your colony okay so you take your uh, media plate on which you have your bacterial culture that you have to report you take back side of your media plate and then place a ruler or scale through the diameter of a colony and then you measure it so you can see here this is 2 mm the diameter of this particular colony is 2 mm okay so you need a isolated colony well isolated colony and from back side of your agar plate as you all know that our media or your, our agar culture media is transparent at least we can see our bacterial co colonies growing through it from back side okay so you need to report the size from back side you need to measure your diameter of your colony and we report it as size that is 2 mm okay so this is about size now let's see the first example is of e coli on nutrient agar plate okay so this is how e coli looks so always remember you need a well isolated colony and fully grown colony for writing colony characteristics okay so these are the nine colony characteristics which we are going to report for e coli so the size you can measure it by using your ruler or scale so that is 2 to 3 mm and you can report as punctiform that means very small colonies shape is circular margin is entire that means clean margin then elevation how your colony looks when you take your plate to your eye sight okay the side view of your colony tells you the elevation that is in case of e coli that is raised consistency and texture now consistency is when you pick your colony through your wire loop if it comes or if you can pick 
your colony easily then it is buterous and if it is sticky threads of uh, you can you cannot pick your colony easily threads are formed then it is slimy okay so that is consistency texture texture means how it looks how it appears so e coli e coli colony appears smooth and opacity opacity is light cannot pass through the colony it can pass through the medium but not through the colony okay so that is opacity then color is off white you can make out through the picture gram staining you need to perform gram staining and don't just write gram negative or gram positive you need to write it as gram negative rods or gram negative cocci or uh, gram negative coco bacilli whatever your results are you write they uh, you write those results precisely okay so gram negative rods and motility yes e coli is motile so you will write it as motile so this is about e coli on neutral agar plate now about klebsiella pneumoniae on mcconkey's agar okay so mcconkey's agar is already a differential media and we use it for lactose fermentation so even uh, sometimes it happens that you need to write colony characteristics from directly from a differential media that is also okay now that this depends on the experiment which you are doing so in case of klebsiella pneumoniae size is 6 mm shape is circular you can see we have taken a isolated fully grown colony so the uh, shape is circular margin is entire elevation again take the plate to your eyesight and see try to view sideways okay you will see the colony is convex okay dome like it is then consistency is slimy texture is uh, shiny okay because it is slimy so it shines okay then opacity it is opaque color is pink gram staining gram negative rods and motility it is non motile okay so this is about klebsiella pneumoniae now don't comment uh, under this video in the comment box that please upload a video on staphylococcus aureus or streptococcus okay or pseudomonas i cannot make separate videos on each and every example of bacterial cultures okay you need to learn this you need to practice you need to isolate the culture and then you you should try reporting bacterial morphology okay colony morphology this will help you okay so i hope the concept is clear i hope you know now how to report the bacterial colony morphology so thank you for watching this video do like my videos do share this videos with your friends and do subscribe to my channel thank you